Alrighto, so today we are doing a soil, what's it called, Dave? Water infiltration test. So we're finding out how quickly an inch of rain would get into this soil if it fell on here today. So, 100 mil tube, come it into the ground so the water won't leak out. Uh, we're going to tip 193 mil of water in that, which would be the same as one inch falling on that that area there, and uh, we'll time how quickly it goes in. Can I borrow the cup, please, pop it? Thank you. Measure out. So this is a carefully measured 193. Which equates to an inch worth of rainfall. For that diameter, and just pour it in nice and slowly. And then wait till it disappears. Time how long it takes to go in. So this is a really simple test, isn't it? Really, really simple and really important, as, uh, particularly as we get intermittent rainfall. You want it going in, not sitting on top and not running off. So if it's taking, you know, let's say 15 minutes to get in, if you get a heavy downpour, a lot of that would have uh, you know, rolled off and, <laughs> and gone down the gutter. Before uh, before it's got into the soil, so um, the quicker it's in, the better it is. The less subject to evaporation and, and runoff that it is, and uh, the more it's helping you out. Yeah, so we're specifically talking about water infiltrating into the soil, but also oxygen. Yes. Oh well, the, the quicker it goes in, generally means it's got more oxygen pores in the in the ground, so it's more porous. So it's already got more oxygen. Now it's it's getting the water down those same tracks that the oxygen was taking. So microbes and roots in the ground influence that a lot. Um, we're we're pretty close now. We're we're very near done. There's still a little bit of moisture there, so we'll let it go till that's gone. So does it matter what size tube? Uh, you as use? long as you measure, you work out what an inch means in that size tube, it doesn't really matter what the size is. And uh, so it has to be an inch, that's a standard Well that, that's a standard, yeah. you can measure whatever you want and this soil's had in the last week probably an inch already, it's actually got some nice soil moisture so that will influence it as well. Um, so you've got to take that into account and we can do it again and we can measure how quickly the second inch will go in uh, if you've got two inches of rain. You know, look how it's going Bobby. So I'd, I'm going to say that's in now. Righto. So that's pretty, pretty good compared to some of the spots on this paddock. Hang on. That's 2 minutes and 10 seconds. Right, that's not bad. So um, yeah, let's say we had a, a moderate downpour of, of an inch in 20 minutes. Well, that will have gone in. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, an inch in 2 minutes, well, that's pretty heavy. Hopefully we don't get that this week. Um, but that's in the ground now, so that's fine. It's it's not subject to evaporation and it's not disappearing out into the sea where I don't need it. Um, it's a very simple, simple test to see if your yeah. soil is in fact functioning effectively. And we're just measuring it as is, aren't we? Like we're not, we don't have to remove any vegetation or no. mulch or anything. That's the point no, to see so what happens in our tube, existing conditions. Exactly. The tube's got a little bit of a sharpened edge to cut through the, the vegetation. No, that was probably in an inch in the ground in itself. Uh, and yeah, we're just as it is, as it stands, we're not looking at bare ground. Um, you want to pick a fairly average place in your paddock. Um, if you want to get all serious, you can go build yourself a transect line, which we'll cover in a different video. But, uh, very, very simple, simple test to see if your soil actually is taking on 